Hello Sushi Lords family, Namaste and greeting from Sushi Man Santos. In this video, I am gonna show you how to fillet a whole salmon for sushi and sashimi. Also how to prep it. The way I am going to show you how to fillet a salmon is not a proper traditional way, but I am pretty sure it is very simple and effective techniques for the beginner. Okay, let's start. First of all, I will make dry with the help of the paper and gonna clean skin side and belly side as well. Now, I will separate the head part. That is the first step. To remove the head, always be careful with the salmon pectoral fine. Try to remove head with less meat as much as you can. Now, you can give a little bit more pressure and force to your knife to finalize the main backbones of the whole salmon so it will cut properly. Here I am putting the paper on the board so that the salmon won't slide around and it will be easy and safer to work with knife. I will start to fill it. I will pass my knife blade above the middle spines which is very important and also you can break down in two parts. From middle from you can see how the dorsal fine to pelvic fine with same techniques of the salmon fillet which I am gonna show you. Also, many professional shapes and many traditional way will flip from the back side or that side as you can see. But if you are a beginner, same as like me, it will be hard to handle it. Okay, let's start to fill it. I'll cut above the middle spines as you can see in this video. Now I'll run my knife in fast motions above the main spines. Also, always hold belly flat with another hand. So it will be easy to handle it. Now you will hear the sound of the spine cut. I'll make a small hole in the tail part so it will be easy to secure salmon freely. Yes, it's our first salmon fillet, it's really good and cool, isn't it? Now I'm taking wet paper so you can use towel clothes also to clean knife and also in cutting time knife cannot go directly in my hands or in my fingers. In second step it's very easy then we have to cut just below the middle spine slowly like this and the knife will pass downside from the pelvic fine. Okay let's start to fill it. I'm securing very well and gonna pass my knife below the backbones but be careful make your knife angles upwards means don't press downside to make clean so you cannot have more meat on the backbones and run your knife very smoothly hearing the sounds of spine's breath yes that's my middle backbones we can take out meat with the help of the spoons i'll show you at last also i'll make a small hole in the side of the tail part to secure it Finally, we have here the salmon fillet as you can see on the video. The first fillet and the second fillet. From the second fillet, I am using spoons to take out the meat because the white part we cannot use so I will clean by knife. So I am taking the meat from the spoons. Now I will take out the pin bones which is left on our fillet with help of the tweezers. Some of bones is hiding in the front side so we have to be careful when you are taking the spine. We have to pull pin bones on the same side of drains otherwise the fillet meat will be blocked. As you can see here the drain 
is coming this side so I am taking this side. Now I will take next fillet, pin bones same as like the previous ones, you can see on drain lines are upside so I will pull same directions of it. to find if there are any pin bones remaining so run your finger along it so you will feel yes here is it i can take out now i'll break down each fillet in three pieces tail part middle part and the head part that is the head part i'll measure three of five fingers and middle part i can i will portion same size of the new receiver it our rest part will be a tail part Normally tail part I'll use for the making of the neta of negiri sushi and also we can make the sashimi flour also. From the middle side of the belly part I can use for the dragon neta to any kinds of sushi rolls also for the negiri neta and also I can take the neta of gunkans from the middle part. In the same way from the head part the belly part I can take out neta of gunkan sushi I can use this middle part belly part for the decorative sashimi and upper side part called uwami back and the sitami back side i love to use for the sashimi also you can use the neta of nigiri as well if you want it's depend on you now time to clean and take out the skins i will start from the tail part because tail part is the easiest part to take the skins to take out the skins is very important it is a little bit tricky firstly i'll make place to secure of my fingers Hold the skins very strongly so it can't be sleepy and I'll pass my knife very carefully and smoothly in between part of the skins and meat. Yes, that's it. Now I'll do for the middle part. In the time of cleaning time, try to take out less meat as much as you can. I mean don't play with your knife very roughly. Take out just fine parts. the same forces for the head part as well.
Now I already watched this middle back bones to take out meat. I will play by spoons same as like this on this video. This meat we can use for the topping of the gunkan sushi, inside the spicy salmon sushi and any kinds of uramaki or futumaki sushi rolls and also for the hand roll it's called temaki sushi. Now I will wash my salmon block by cold water so if there is any kind of skin scales in our language we call kama or any, any kinds of dirty part I can remove it and will make it dry with the help of the normal paper and now I'm wrapping salmon with a special towel fish paper and gonna put it inside the vacuum bag. I'm going to do vacuum. Vacuum machines will take out all the air from the salmon bags so it won't be a chance to spoil and we'll do foes to kill parasites and bacteria. If you don't have the vacuum don't be worried you can use any kinds of film plastics to wrap it and you can start to do foes. Yes, it's done. Now I will use fast freezing machines at minus 23 degrees Celsius. It will keep fresh after being frozen. We'll lose just little original moisture, texture, and flavor. And also, main things is won't absorb more water when it's going to frozen. After three four hours, I'll take out. It will be like this. Now I can put a normal frozen freeze at or below minus 18 degrees Celsius till 25 hours. So all the parasite and bacteria will be killed. If you need to use youths, you can take out to defrost at 0 to 5 degrees Celsius and you can use till 24 hours on this temperature. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos about sushi. Thank you. Have a good day.